So it's a new month. So the question is, what do you want from your business this month? And more importantly, what have we learned in the first two months of 2023? One of my favorite things to do is not just to build a budget or build a forecast or build a three-year plan. While that's fun, what I really love to do is to dig into the reality of today and finding those small things that could make you even better. Because what is so often the case is it's the little things. And it's so overwhelming when you feel like your cash flow is going down or you feel like it's just not working out that you miss the good. But by seeing the good, we're able to expand on that and and grow in those areas that are really working. Because in any business, there are things that are working. So my challenge to you is two things. One, do you have a budget for 2023? If not, why? Regardless of what they say is going on or is not going on or any of that, it doesn't matter. You should always have a target always have that top line number that you're striving for every month and for the whole year and the bottom line how much are you going to make in this business this year the answer shouldn't be zero you should have a detailed number that you are striving to make put money in your pocket or things that you want to do with that free cash otherwise why are we here and the second thing is have you reviewed the first two months to see how they line up to that budget So if you haven't done it yet, this is the week to create the budget. You could start with January. You could start with March. It doesn't matter, right? Let go of the rules and trying to be perfect. It doesn't matter. Just start it. And the second one is take the time to look at how your reality stacked up to that budget. Because sometimes it's not always fun. There's things we see. It's like, ah, I know that's a problem. I'm not dealing with it. Whatever it is we learn something and you know what else happens you feel like you are in control again that you are driving your business forward so let's go two things you're going to do this week you're going to create a budget and then you're going to review january and february against that budget and find the few little things that are going to make march the best month yet